I love to monitor the Q&A area here in the virtual classroom when we're on break, and I noticed a great discussion occurring between one of our elite mentors and our student, John, that's in class today. John was asking, hey, what about the different types of VPNs that I should be aware of as I'm in my entry-level Cisco networking study? What an awesome question. Let's tackle that right now. We know that VPNs are hugely popular today for connecting various areas of your network securely over something like a public network infrastructure, but what are the different types that we need to be aware of? Well, one of the most popular types of VPNs is called a site-to-site -site VPN. And with this type of structure, we are literally trying to pretend that we have a leased line from an internet service provider. We want a consistent connection for moving data between branch offices and the corporate headquarters, and we want it to look and feel just like one of those expensive leased line connections. But much more popular than this, we can see remote access VPNs. Here is where individuals are firing up their laptop, for example, while they're in their automobile or hotel room, and they are connecting just temporarily to a branch office or corporate headquarters in order to exchange information securely over that public internet. As you know, we love hands-on here at stormwindlive.com, and that's why in many of our classes, you're going to be going in and not only with real Cisco equipment setting up the Cisco or head end of that VPN connection, but you'll also be going in to the Windows 7 software, and you'll be choosing a new connection to a network workplace, and you'll be guided through the configuration of the virtual private network network by Windows 7. Now, you might be wondering, is that it? It's that easy? Just site-to-site -site VPNs versus remote access VPNs? Well, here it's time for us to bring in a guest expert from the field, Doug Bassett, who's been doing consulting and installs for over two decades. He's going to let us know that there's a bit more to it than just those two simple types that we spoke of. I've been dealing with virtual private networks for years, and one of the biggest challenges is, is what protocol can you use? Well, you have point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, layer two tunneling protocol, even pure IPsec. And what you want to look at is who's using your VPN. If you're using Microsoft clients,